Hi and welcome to the self-service position assignments tutorial where we're going to show employee users how to actually assign themselves to locations on their own. So we're just logged in as an employee user type right now. We're going to go ahead and navigate to our profile and this is where we can of course update our address information. So we're going to do that in order to actually get our GPS coordinates in here. Um, so just type in whatever your address is. Make sure to include all the relevant information here. Um, so that includes your zip code or postal code here as well. And then once we've done that, what we can do is just click this uh, update button on beside coordinates. So what that does is uh, use this Google Maps to go out and find our GPS coordinates and where this location actually is. And now if we have uh, location assignments on, so that's right down here, right where we have the magnifying glass, if that's on in our implementation, we'll be able to click that and search for assignments at um, other locations around us. So right now we're only at location two, it looks like, as two different positions. Um, but maybe we're willing to commute up to 40 kilometers. So if we click find locations, it shows us, oh, there's one location that's 6.6 .6 kilometers away. So we'd like to request to work there. So we'll hit request. This just wants to confirm. And then there's no longer any locations near us. So we can just X that out of here. And so once that's done, what that's done is now it says uh, pending here. And it goes out to the manager at that store. And the manager actually has to approve our pending location assignment before we can um, actually go ahead and, and officially work there. So we can log in as a manager now. And we should see right here, pending location assignments. Since we have that feature on, it shows up right there. And uh, it shows who, when it was requested, and for what store. And so we can either click the check mark or the X, accept or deny. If we click the check mark, this will come up. It shows all the uh, positions that are actually available to work at this location. And the bolded ones are the positions that uh, this employee has worked at other locations. So we know that they're qualified to work as an associate and supervisor, so we're going to choose those and then just click Create Assignments. And now they will have moved into our employee list. If we go to Employees, right there at the bottom is Lori. And that is everything for uh, self-position assignments. Thanks for watching.